All right, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q is here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are going against an Orn in the top lane. We're doing kind of a, a funky build today, recommended to me by League of Fiora off the channel. So if you're listening, thank you for that. Um, it's actually a build by Rengar ZX, who is the number one Jax in EU West. So he actually starts off Dorn's Blade um, and then buys his Corrupted Pot second. He goes into the normal Trinity Force and then goes... Um, after Trinity Force, he goes... Oh god, really? Level 2 cheese. I'm fine. I don't think I have to flash. Nope. Interesting choice. Sorry, he goes Trinity into Gunblade. I can stay. Uh, Gunblade into... Nasher's Tooth, actually. Sometimes he goes Rage Blade. I really want to see if... Uh... Back extra damage off there. Cool. I'm going to wait to level 3 to all in him. I really want to get a ward. If he comes at me, I know Graves is... Still there. Wait for the flash. Yep. Man, is he duo cure or something? All of the love. Ridiculous. Alright, gotta grab my refillable pot. And a control ward and teleport back. So Orn will have to TP back as well. I can hold the wave out here. Holy moly. So it should be pretty fun. The other thing he does is he goes Gathering Storm, and that's for super late game damage. So it's got the uh, adaptive damage there. Oh, lame. So should be pretty cool, like I said. Really, you would target that one. Yikes. Okay. Well... We'll see how this goes. Lots of early game pressure. Kind of er ruined my early game fight against him, but we'll see. The thing about Orn is you have to block out his W and then his auto attack after. If you get that little mark on your head, you take extra damage and get a knockback. Your E does cancel it out, so you want to save your E for whenever he does that. Okay, there he is. So he didn't get any combat stats either, which is good. No idea where he went. So he's just losing minions. I don't know if they're trying to get scuttle or what. As soon as that shield's over, I can go in. Oh god, the slow. I could have had him. That sucks. Cool. Knock that out. He's really low, so I can try and get the scuttle crab. Knock out the ward here. Cool. Alright, hopefully this is here. It's probably not. I want to back here. I want to get my Corrupting Pot. Lame! So, Corrupting Pot, and then I'm going to start building towards my Trinity Force. So I can get a Corrupting Pot here, and a Long Sword. Keep building up my combat stats. I fully shoved the wave. Cool. Don't have to wait for quite all of my mana. Head back. Now what do we got? Yeah, he can't hold it, so he's either got to push fast, or he's going to put himself in a really bad position, so... So it's going to slow push out to me. Larger minion wave on his side. See, he knows it now. I got vision for graves just in case, too. So I want to look to fight him when I get back to lane. Probably going to back now. Going to try to keep this outside a tower. Walk in. Walk out. Perfect. Nice. So nice. And outside a tower. And we can freeze right here. So take out and trim some of these. There's the teleport. Uh, all the mini ways I gotta get out. Gotta pop my potions. 
Graves. Got to back up. Nice. Okay, got that. Got his flash out of the way. Ooh! I got to wait to fight him now. I gotta be careful for a CC chain. Okay. Got my ultimate now, so be a little bit more tanky. Oop, he took the free tower shot, not bad. Oh, gotta do the empowered pull. Uh, the trade you wanna do is two auto attacks into a jump move, because then we'll get the empowered move from our. Oh, really? That was in range. Get out of here, Orn. That sucks. Wait for my E. Gonna grab that boots, another control ward. So I'm gonna miss too much right here. So I'm gonna have to TP. One, cool, perfect. He's gotta leave. It's not worth chasing him. We'll just, we'll honestly get uh more out of our minions here for money. Gonna shove this wave in. Then look to make a roam here. Maybe I can uh, get a roam on Zed. He walks towards me. I know that his jungler is there. Surprise! Okay. Wanna do that? Nice. Nope, can't hit me. Cool. Nice. Hello! Pop all my potions, look for the dive here. Power. Fuck me. Kill him. I'm dead. Damn it. The CC train. I hit the dang tower. Oh well. Fed me? Better than fed him. I'm gonna get my magic resist component because I think I'm gonna go Merc Treads here. Stun. Not, yeah. Gonna be a Merc Treads kind of game. Not too bad. He missed out more on the wave here. 65 to 54 farm. And I also just got my first proc on the Gathering Storm. If I didn't talk about it, I think I did. Takes Gathering Storm, by the way. Um, and that's just for to continue your late scaling. I also didn't hit my R, which I thought I did, which is really lame. So I just got five free AD. That's going to keep it building up. Um, the Gunblade actually might turn it into uh, Ability Power, which is going to be better because it's harder to itemize against. And you don't think about it with Jax. And we are also going Nashor's Tooth. Like I said, we're going to get extra cooldown reduction and ability power Surprise. and attack speed from that so yeah throw the ninja tab you so got a huge wave no reason to fight in it so i'm just gonna back up let it crash into tower and i will farm it underneath tower no biggie like i said no i'm not gonna be able to hold it under tower so it's, there's no point in taking all that free damage My attack speed up so if he comes up I can use that to my advantage I'm 
on my potions. Oh god, he's so fast. Damn. Yeah, I don't have a... Uh... Got him. Just get taking all that minion damage. If he gets snared, then I can kill him. Alright. We got the Zed. I'm not gonna dive him. It's too greedy. If there's a plant here, I could heal up and then look to do it. And there's not. I can hang out over here, and if he comes back around this way. A shield. Nope. I think we got the stun. Nice. Good stuff by the cannon. Oh god. Woo! Luckily, Graves does not do any damage. And I'm out of here. Mm, I hate selling my control ward, but I think that's gonna be the best bet. And I can grab my sheen. Gonna give me a nice amount of poke damage. Boom. Nice. Ooh, good thing I left. Zed is not happy about that turnaround. So Orn is too tanky, no reason to go on him. Zed, super weak, so me and Shaco kind of switched over to the Zed. Wasn't bad. Uh, up at Siesta, which is good. Like I said, the Sheen is gonna give us a lot more poke damage against the, the Orn, so we're gonna get that extra hit. We're also going to get cooldown reduction. No. Got it. Got okay. We'll get my attack pick up one. Nice. Dive that out. What do you buy? Nothing special. Okay, you got a mana crystal. The last hitting hurts. Oh, I'm going to invade Graves. Nice. Shove this in. Cool. Go this way. Get a ward here. I don't think I'm going to... Yep, there's Graves. Pop the potion. Oh, he whiffed his... Uh... Pop my potions. Jump in three. Two, one. I think I got it. Yep. Can't slow me down this time. See ya. I'm not worried about it. Pop my potions. Finish pushing this wave in. And Zed is out for blood. I'm tempted to let him. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, damn. I missed my auto attack. What a bitch. <laughs> Alright. A little greedy on my part. Damn, we got the teleport down there. Rakan stays up. Might be able to TP in. Damn, I almost had him. I really think I could have got him, but... Might have flashed out of his spin, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think I just TP top here. Could be a wave. They should have him just fine. Okay. Cool. Got a nice CS lead. Orn is bottom because he teleported there. So I'm just going to push wave. Funky stuff going on in the mid lane. Yikes. Up there's Graves. I have Flash Stun. Nope. I thought he was going to walk this way. Gotta wait for my E to be back up. I don't know where Orn is, so I expect him to be back anytime. Oh, that damage, though. No. Damn, 
I could kill him if it was just him. They got first turret, nice. Dodge that out. He ran away. Don't fight me, be that way. No. There we go. Easy peasy. Don't stand in front of a Jax. So, uh, the thing about Orin's, uh, W, which is his breath movement, is it kind of forces him to move forward. So as soon as he used that, I just walk right behind him, max my, mash my E, and then if he tries to get kind of that slap move in, um, it won't work because you dodge it out. So, and I also max my, mash my potions, which gives me extra damage, extra health, extra mana, all the good stuff. The only thing you do lose with this build is that you don't build um, Titanic. It's a little bit of wave clear, but your auto attacks end up doing a lot of damage, so. Got a lot of money. Cool. Back it up. I want to get bottom. I don't need to stop me. Cool. Grab this. Go towards. I want to actually get Hextech Revolver first. Because I can't finish the Gunblade. And he's building armor, so that might switch my damage to AP. Let's see. No, I don't have nearly enough. I didn't think I did. It was worth looking, though. Ooh, baby! Well, head back to the top lane. Probably kill Orn again. Got plant. I got plant. Let's see if he keeps pushing. Yep. Okay. He's dead. Yep. Yeah. I think it's for Roman and stuff like that, not focusing on minion waves. He's level 10. I'm level 13. There's no way he wins that fight at all anymore. So, super easy. I could even... I whipped my E. I think I clipped an auto, too. How much do I need for my... I'm going to see if Red's there. Red's there, I'm going to steal that. Um, Gunblade, I need a 2350. Cool. Any over here? Nice. Walk this over here. Pop a potion. Are you going to catch him? Oh, there. Hello, Graves. It's coming. I think Zen might be coming. Cool. Um, just got more adaptive damage, so I'm at 20. Oh, do, do AP. 24 AP. Nice. That's going to give my W and my R even more damage. So, sweet. That's because it's based off a of bonus. That's right. That's what's going on here because this is total. So, bonus is 86 versus bonus of 54. That's what I thought. I'm like, I think it might be calculated that wrong. I was. So, continue my split push. I got teleport if need be. Oh my god. Take it. Take it. Look at that damage. Oh, you don't want it. You know. You don't want it, Orn. Nice. Gonna take this. Orn. Nice. What, I need 23? Gotta be careful with my mana. 
think just push this last wave in, and I'll be good. Because it's a cannon minion wave. Uh, no! <laughs> yep. Nice. I think I'll get my gun blade. So yeah. And I can work towards the Nashers too. So yeah, my W is doing an extra 52 damage to the AP we built. Same with an extra 60 here. There's a 60% scaling on both those abilities, so. Got the gun blade, gonna start working towards Nashers too. <laughs> so, Nashers Tooth, right here, is gonna give us 20% uh, cooldown, which is gonna be nice. So, that's gonna cap us out actually, which is gonna allow for even more W's. Gonna get us the attack speed that we want and a little bit more ability power. Chasing. If he keeps chasing. Oh, I'm out. Yay, life steal. So this dead is weak as hell. Someone run over here. Use my life steal. Look at that. Continue my split. The nice thing about this is you get so much more sustain. Got a huge CS lead on this Orn too. Whew. Tower? What tower? So I built up my attack speed off the tower. And as soon as Orn used uh, his ability, oh, got it. I'm tempted. Tempted. Tempted again. Round two, Zed. Round two. Come on. Two more life steal. Oh god. Oh, I almost had it. I was like, lifesteal, lifesteal, lifesteal. <laughs> Shit. Work on my Phoenix Codex. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, I was so close. Greedy, but fun. The thing that this Rengar ZX guy does that I think... Now, granted, he's a very good player. But the thing that I think that kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of rigs the number, I don't know if you want to call it, or kind of uh, is an unfair accuracy, is he uh, duos with a jungler. Um, and when you duel with a jungler, and you can kind of guarantee, like, hey, I'm setting up this freeze in top lane, or I have E-Flash setting up the gank. It is much easier. I have a Pantheon video that should be posted by the time you see this one, and I talk about that with mid lane. Uh, I do it with my buddy, and it's much easier to guarantee plays and stuff like that when you're talking and playing with that person. So, um, but yeah, now this is up to 101 damage, 118 damage. We're gonna start doing a bunch of on hit damage too with the Nashers too. Uh, I don't think I would really go Rage Blade after Nasher's Tooth, he usually does either or. The reason being is you overcap on attack speed. So, you need, I need a thousand. I'm gonna be a jerk. Cause I need the gold, don't look. Oh. Hey! I'm gonna head top. Well, I really should head bottom, but you want to when you're splitting you want to be at the side that is the farthest away from an uh, objective oh my goodness oh my god he's so dead hey that was mine no cc can get you out buddy 
And then uh, Steric Gauge is the next item, by the way, too. That gives you a little bit of tankiness that you need. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Not worth it. I need to go lifesteal. Going to be a little cheeky. Cool. Right, is he over here still? Nope. Okay. Pop my last potion here. Go back. I'm out. Maybe. Nope, definitely out. Read. So strong to stun up the Zen and kill him. He's the only one that could burst me. All the life still. Now imagine if I had hysterics on top of it. Just virtually unkillable. Okay. Don't know what the point of that was, but thank you. Stun and just one two combo, man. I mean, my combo's doing what? About 400 right there. Hello. No, don't give me aggro. Man, it feels kind of goofy, but you, yeah, you get all the on-hit damage here, the extra AP damage, that's 164 extra, 131 extra, like... It's a life steal. Hello. Boats up with the gunplate, and yeah, I get the gunplate damage, all the healing from that. Oh my goodness! Crazy stuff. Hmm. I like it. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, kind of a weird uh, tower dive at the beginning from me, but I hardcore scale, and Orn does not, so as you can see, I just really, really snowballed that lead over and over again. Um, Wow, I, I really like that Nasher's Tooth. That feels really good. I actually want to try a um, on-hit build, too, uh, and that was part of it. So the extra cooldown reduction is great. Your Q ends up at, like, a three-second cooldown. As you saw, I just jumped and was ready to jump again. That last kill that I kind of uh, got on the Orn. Uh, the Gunblade damage. I've always liked Gunblade on Jax. The extra adaptive damage. Let's see if we can check to see how much they gave us. That was a bonus of 24 extra AP on top of it, so... Helps his scaling go even better. Standard runes here. Let's check out damage. What up? <laughs> well, I hope you guys like that one. Pretty cool. Like I said, um, I have to get a little bit better with making roams and making more of my lead because I clearly had the lead on the Orn. But honestly, the rest of my team did pretty well. Like, look at the cannon. So I didn't need to roam bottom or anything like that. So I could kind of hang out in my lane and continue snowballing. But if that had not been the case... Um, you have to be a little bit more careful with your split pushing and stuff like that for them collapsing on you. But I hope you guys like that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.